You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Respect is a two-way street. Hmm. Someone pinched my son. Somebody took something from my daughter. They don't know what they're doing in this school. I'm going to put everything on social media. I will deal with that teacher. And so on and so forth. And I often ask, where is the place of love? A school that 99% of the time delivers the best. And the minute there's a misunderstanding, will kill the ants with the sledgehammer. People of the world, can you remember the case of a parent that was so angry with a teacher? She took a stick to the school and struck the teacher on the head. How many more teachers are going to die because the parent is angry? I can also recollect a time that my daughter was hit in school. She was actually slapped. A school that is highly rated, and yet I have issues with them. Oh yes, I do. Just like we all do with systems. And when I'm angry, do I go to the school gates, screaming, shouting, threatening? No way. I would rather go to see them in the office and discuss the issues rather than create a scene and then consciously or unconsciously destroy the reputation of a school based on something that can be resolved easily. There will always be conflicts, some bigger than others. I'm talking about those that can be easily resolved. Don't shoot this messenger. Brothers and sisters fall out. Husbands and wives fall out, tongue and teeth literally fight. So why not parents, teachers, and management? We must all exercise a level of emotional intelligence and realize that some of our actions actually make the children uncomfortable in school. Many pupils actually love their teachers, believe it or not. Many teachers and humans act with a positive intention, no matter how poor the outcome is. So undermining the teachers and speaking unecologically in the presence of children sends a very wrong and strong message to your children. We won't behave like this in other countries. However, many parents are happy to treat those they entrust their children with, like glorified Nigerian nannies, who, by the way, are also treated badly in many cases. The entire system in many cases is becoming increasingly chaotic. Let us stop hating on one another. A trendy 21st century skill is collaboration which we require in the best interest of the Nigerian child. My people, our markets. You do. Um, <laughs> you do, but I think the issue really is about boundaries. Mm -hmm. And I think we've touched on it today. We talked earlier about churches and we talked about frameworks, even about the borders. And I think you've highlighted something so important, Ron, can I completely agree with you? I think that there are some elements of our culture which can promote a sense of entitlement. So the person who thinks they are a big man or a big woman. I, I, I'm, I, I'm looking at it from another angle yeah. completely <laughs> because um, I think there is um, like a death. It, children these days have evolved. They're not yeah. kids the way we are. Yeah. So um, teachers have to undergo some sort of training to understand that you know, children learn at different you know, pace and style. Some play and learn. Some would, you know, give you what you want. You know, so you need to understand the different, like they say... Uh, learning styles, yeah. yeah some the, are visual, um, some are kind of aesthetic. aggregated or mm -hmm. segregated learning or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? We, we you find that most of these teachers are not exposed to this sort of... You have the knowledge, but you don't know how to pass it on. So and you get frustrated sometimes. So, I'm trying to see the link between that and Yes, I'm trying to connect advocacy it. Yeah. Because she's, yeah. she's complaining about the way parents are treating teachers. Yes, yeah, so imagine a child that has that difficulty, you know, understanding what you're teaching, and you pour out that frustration on the child. Here's a child at home with her own style of teaching. I find the child to be adequately OK. Mm. Learns, play, play learning. Okay. But in school, you have a different and that means the parent has done something wrong, which is registered the child in a school that doesn't understand your child. So if you, uh, no, no, or, no. or, or what, no, no, some no. don't let's understand let's what let's you're let's saying, I, I think, uh, so that we don't point, digress. Schooling, first and foremost here, is how mango do, okay? Which one is convenient for me? Um, if I, I want to send my children to one of these porch schools, but I can't afford it, and so the one in the nearby, let me send them there. And then they get there, you, you, they have a, a way of learning. But because the teacher also is how man go do, ordinarily, if left to him, he wouldn't have been a teacher. But job no day, so I need to teach. And then the, he sees that child as dull. 
you don't learn. Growing up, you fail mass, you'll be flogged. Mm -hmm. But that was then. But now, you flog that child. You, you, for me, I probably would have been a medical doctor today if, I, 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 if not for the fact that my teacher used to flog us <laughs> in mathematics. For real? Yes. Okay. But for that, I hated the teacher and I hated and mathematics. Okay. Mm -hmm. But today is different. Mm. So, and, and so also, parents also, I agree with you that there should be a collaboration. I'm talking about. Yeah, I agree with you. That's why I say I agree with you. There should be a collaboration. But where the problem is, some parent also. I attended PTA meeting once and I told myself I will never attend again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> why? We're talking about incrementing fee. And I, you know, try to give reasons why it shouldn't be. And then one woman just stood up and like, go to Ikoi. Schools are very expensive. Here you should be happy that they're even charging this. And I told her, I said, your husband is in VI, working his head out. Oh. And here you are accumulating bill for him. Uh -oh. And she took offense that day. I just said, you know what? Because I want to avoid scenarios like this, mm -hmm. I wouldn't come again. But I would rather go to the school authority, you know, ventilate I mean, my grievance. So I agree with you. Let me come in. I agree with you on Wait, that let's, point. Let's Instead of, point. so sorry, yeah, please, I agree with you. We haven't really no, touched on. No, I agree with you on that point. I to jump in, but mm -hmm. I must I agree with you on that point mm -hmm. that, yes, there is need for collaboration. Yes, absolutely. The yeah. parents should learn to, no matter the issues, meet with the school authority. In the same vein, in the a school authority, way, yes, very civil. Yeah, in the same names. vein, in the same vein, the school authority also should set up mechanism immediately mm. to address yes, those challenges. Yes. Because it is when you refuse to address them yeah, that some parents will say, "I think it's a uh, strong it way that house. that they understand." So I want to do it the hard okay, way. Okay, let me come in on that actually because I read the story. I think it's in Anambra, mm -hmm. 2017. Mm -hmm. yeah. This lady struck the teacher mm -hmm. with a stick, and the teacher died. Mm. Died? Yeah. Died. Yeah. Because she hit her on the head. Mm -hmm. And by the time they took the teacher to the hospital, she had died. This is a, a woman who came because the teacher had spanked her 14-year-old son. Mm -hmm. the, the woman marched in there, saying she was going to teach. And even when the principal calmed her down and said, chill, mm -hmm. and she even had agreed to chill, but when she then saw the teacher coming, mm -hmm. she got riled up, and she attacked her with so much on the head that this woman died from it. So now the woman was in prison. How does that help the child? Yeah. But I, so clearly parents need to be brought under control. The fact that you're paying school fees doesn't mean you should treat another human being like less than, you know. Yeah. And definitely there should be collaboration. But what, where I wanted to also then join, join Libras and Sadu is to say, I think the onus is still on the school to, to, to create that bridge because mm -hmm. they're the professionals in the house. So if you're open to, you constantly call your parents, you engage with them, you make them your friend. The teacher, I have a teacher who I love because she always keeps me, she's on WhatsApp. You know, some teachers are clever like that. They'll form WhatsApp groups mm -hmm. for all their parents. They keep you updated about your child's progress. They show you that they have a personal interest in your child. Mm -hmm. There's no way I'm going to go to that school, no matter what I hear. And my reaction is to go and attack her because mm -hmm. she has shown me that she's taking a personal interest well, where in my welfare. Other news are there? But some parents want to flex because I am X, Y, no, 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 You need to educate no. them as they're coming in. About. You may have to even bring even in at regulations. Home, you can tell from, mm. from the home because when the children come to school, you will know that something is already happening. Yes. That is going, coming at lunchtime. Then you may have to bring so regulations for such what parents. We need, mm. what, I'm, what my message is today is that when there's an issue, can you please, first of all, meet management? Yes. Not scream, Comments not shout, not Facebook. social media, <laughs> not anything like that. Yeah. The same way you will not embarrass any other person, please don't do it in the school. Yes. They say all good things come to an end. This doesn't have to be the case here, since you will continue where we stopped. So keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time, let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. So the moment impressed. you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics and enjoys for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, terrible. Like fire. <laughs> terrible strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.